Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Signal here and welcome back to most likely another video, might not be another video, might be, nah, this is for sure the fight for the, the next video. Sorry if I'm being a bit weird, I just uh, came back home from night out with the boys, and I made the very very good decision to leave the sorry fights for when I come back. But the cat is also restless, because I haven't been here all day and he's been alone, with nobody to play with. So yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. But yeah, Aquaman, I don't like this man. Not at all. I don't like his special too. I don't like his combos. I can't really combo and drop him that well. So we're going to use Baton on the ground with God Killer again. To absolutely smash him. With him obviously having no counter play. And it's gonna be the good old gameplay of pushing him to the corner and swiping down. I would get more damage from Dark Metal cards or from Crown as far as the uh, flat dot value goes, that purple number that you see on the screen when the ultimate is active, the, the passive basically is active, would be higher. But that would be far less optimal because that would trigger it far less often. Here allows me to constantly hit him and constantly trigger that. So if it's a fight where you know for a fact you're going to be able to trigger the uh, passive often, Without the use of God Killer, obviously you would want to use another artifact like Dark Malakards or Crown. But I have enough passive stats where I can do 2 billion with uh, uh, the God Killer. So that allows me to have a very, very convenient fight with Battle on Ground every single time. Not gonna have them anymore in our soul rates, because in the other soul rates my passive stats are not that high. And also God Killer here gives me passive stats, but yeah. 32 mil per second should seal the deal, no problem. Okay, let's count here, because I'm actually curious. From 28 seconds left, how much time exactly does it take me to stack the uh, purple bar full? It's more than 10 seconds. Yeah, about, about 15 seconds. That's how much it takes to stack it. Forget to kind of uh, take a look at the duration as well, because that's an important factor too. But we're not gonna get to do that, because the next one is not gonna get to run its uh, whole duration. Because this man is gonna die. There we go, easy fight, convenient one shot, I love it. Now let's move on to the next fight. Green to use the is the Tana, the only thing to keep in mind about this man is his lethal resistance. And that's the thing that we're going to um, try not to play into with playing something like Grod um, Rainiac. We have Crown at level uh, 3 on Harley. And level 10, level 7 God Killer on the Arctic characters. That may be fight, fought against Green Arrow first, because killing him will get my God Killer to level 8, I think. So I don't think it will matter that much. Manzatana, do your tank power steal a bit for me. There we go. Don't really care about percentage health damage. Though, look, if we get the free third special, I'm not gonna say no. Oh boy, did you get stunned there, sir? What happens? I'm not paying attention, how did you get stunned? Boy, did you hear that? I like, hear any weird sounds, the cat is just running around the house. Come on, Stan, there we go, 10% bonus. Let's go. Tank it. Good, she took no damage. I think Harley could have tanked that. He's gonna combo and chop him for now. Bad, though he stunned himself. Bold of me to assume though, because it's only a chance that happens. Can you like chill for a second, buddy? What's up? Yeah. 
No, we can't chill for a second, apparently. Yeah, this is on track, except for the fact that we're not getting a lot of power refounds, though we got one here, which is great. Our special two. Another power reset. Yeah, we're fine. We're good. We're all set for the rest of his health, at the very least. More should do it. There we go. Easy one shot. Now we have one more sub boss, and now we're gonna move on to Red Hood. Then the first two fights went so well, we might do something where we attempt to do kind of a video about my top six teams. Though every single time I make the active decision to try and make that happen something goes terribly wrong just after i make that decision like i'm gonna play every single fight peak performance and i'm gonna get a video out of this of my top teams and then immediately it goes badly as well use super with grog since we got him there to push him and we have the power Another special one. Another one. And another one. Uh, he's gonna use super move early. Because I'm not gonna make the active attempt to push him to the corner again. Or do I? Because he's like gonna stay there since the uh, until the end of the fight. So let's push him back. And finish the stacking with Brainiac over there. So we are dealing decent damage with only 6 stacks on Grod. Wish they made things more clear in regards to a lot of things, because there might be a cap to lethal attack damage. And with that cap in mind, Grod might not need all the stacks from Brainiac. I don't think we're really hitting the cap. Because if we did hit the cap easily, then there would be no difference between doing this and doing this. Like when I do this. Which is the infinite combo that doesn't require combo interruption. Overall, I get lower damage values than if I do this, because for like this, I get more attacks in there, so it means we stack lethal attack damage faster. Also, this guy is getting annihilated, my dude. Not bad there. Okay, Robin, get in there. And now die. I killed him too fast, I'm afraid the game will be like, oh, unusual gameplay, unlucky. So I'm gonna let him kill Robin, so there's a lesser chance of that. Excuse me, come on there. And Brainiac can finish with a super move. There we go. From this point of view of avoiding unusual gameplay, it's quite convenient that Beta Club leaves people at 1 HP and doesn't kill. We're gonna fight Redwood here, and I got my second god here to level 8, so we have a level 8 and a level 10 one, and Mr. Freeze with Beta Club. We're really getting close to maxed out passive stats in this, alright? I mean, not really maxed out, maxed out in theory is gonna be 3 level 10 god killers, one on each character, but you're never gonna go for that. It's uh, the scaling on artifacts, like for example, Dark Metal Card Scrape Damage and stuff like that, generally speaking, outscales having a third Soul Raid specific artifact. Unless the situations when you're playing uh, Dark Knight Soul Raids and that um, raid specific artifact also happens to be your normal damage dealing artifact, so that's, that's an exception though. Generally speaking, you can say that you're maxed out as far as stats go in Soul Raids when you have two artifacts that are of the highest passive stat yield at max level. Blue. 
He got frozen. We're dealing reasonable damage so far, and we're very far from... Actually, we're not that far from fully stacked. Oh, I mispressed that. I wanted to do a second special. We should stop fooling around though, because there's not much that much time left here. So we're gonna deal more damage because this man's got defense and his defense decreases as the the time goes by. 59. Yeah, decent. Reasonable. Oh, did too many basics with Raven. It's fine, Mr. Freeze got lucky here. It's 9.1, that number seems a bit odd. I think that's his damage cap that we're hitting there. Yeah, he's dead, but I'm gonna let him kill Mr. Freeze, or at the very least attempt to, because I want to avoid unusual gameplay. And um, yet again, the rules for trying your best, th though this doesn't guarantee it, so the rules for trying your best to avoid unusual gameplay is to um, play past uh, one minute left of the fight, and at the same time try to get one character killed. And Mr. Freeze is taking his time to die, but that would happen to every single character in this thing, because all of them got some defense and got a ton of health. Yeah, I'm just gonna do super move. If it happens, it happens. He was not gonna die anyway, and I might have ended up in the last few seconds of the fight locked into an enemy special animation and not able to do anything, but we killed him with no unusual gameplay bug. Let's go. I'm actually gonna try to kill this man. Most likely I'll fail to one-shot him, but I'll try. So we have those guys with the passive stat artifacts equipped. Deal the percentage hull damage and king with north snow globe. Aquaman. We'll see how it goes. Perfect Scarecrow is very easy to fight unless you mess up. If you mess up, you're most likely gonna get killed because he's got berserk and he's gonna deal a lot of damage. I think I'm gonna do super move with this man. Okay, good. I'm glad he used that. Oh, oh, oh. My bad, my bad, my bad. We messed this one up. Yeah, Battle Class didn't do a very good job. Oh, I was expecting to get killed by that. that adds some negative effects on there. Okay, another negative effect added. I think I should have used special one there. Oh, we're, we're into infinite power, let's go. Let's try not to lose it. Because a lot of the negative effects applied by the other dudes are gonna soon expire. We're going to be able only to count on King's negative effects. Okay, super move, might as well do that. Come on, we, we got a decent start. Could have gone better, but we got a decent start here. At least let's try to put it in cleanup range for Manta. We're not killing him. Like, we're not. I think that... Oh, we lost it! That was random. Yeah, I think we're literally not gonna get it back until the end of the fight. We 
We got it for a second, they were so close. So it doesn't matter at this point at all. I think I should have stayed with Venom Flaps and dealt the remaining of his percentage all damage. Yeah, this didn't go perfectly. This really didn't go perfectly. And I think we're below the 1.4 mil threshold yet. This stroke with Norris Noggle would have done better than this. Uh, not the best fight, but look, it's it's serviceable. I've never tried to go all the way up to 760 mil with Manta so far. So yet again, we've never had such high passive stats on him. So we're going to have Bane with level 10 God Killer. Plus Quandroman with uh, level 8 God Killer. And Manta with uh, level 10 Joe Price Bat Rings. Is this much damage possible? Most likely not. I mean, it is possible in theory, but not for my Manta. But we're going to try our best. We've never limited this in this man. He's also always done cleanup fights. And those cleanup fights had at best 400 ml health. So this is going to be the true test for Manta. Also, he has a class advantage that's going to slightly reduce our damage. So that's something to keep in mind. Also, one mistake and we're dead. That's another thing to kind of keep in mind. Let's save up for super move. If you want Roman, you tank this. Thank you. Oh boy, did a lot of damage. And our own super move. Now let's push him back to a corner. So far, it has gone perfectly. I can't really combo and drop after the special one, so we're gonna have to wait for a special two here. To activate the bad ranks damage. There we go. Honestly, it's not looking too bad. No! Ooh, it's okay. That mistake didn't back part too badly. Now we're gonna have enough energy for a special to right in time as it is needed. No! It's okay, it's okay. Yet again, we don't lose much damage here. Oh, rip! Too many mistakes. Manta couldn't live longer. I don't think he would have killed if he lived the whole duration anyway. But he would have gotten really close, maybe with z absolutely zero mistakes. Maybe he would have stood the chance to kill it. But yeah, he did pretty well. Not gonna lie, he did pretty well. And uh, that's gonna be the last fight for this video. And I think that's gonna be the top, my, my, my top thick, six soul ratings or something like that. So, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Like it if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it. Subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.